Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to do animation in After Effects using keyframes. Hey guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. So guys, have you ever thought about how you can improve the way you animate things in After Effects? Have you ever thought about using the graph editor but you never tried just because you feel that it's hard or maybe it's complex? So guys, in this video, we are going to learn about graph editor in After Effects and show you how to improve your animation in After Effects using graph editor. So first I'm creating one composition, name it uh, graph editor. Okay, setting is okay, fine, click okay. So I'm just making a two seconds of timeline. So it's easy for me to make a simple animation to show you how these keyframes are working and also show you how this graph editor is working in Adobe After Effects. So first I'm creating uh, one shape layer. So I'm just making the shape. Okay, creating one ellipse. Okay, making little bit of small. Okay, first time changes his anchor point to center. Now decrease the size. Okay. Now I'm just animate this uh, shape to this position to this position, and I'm just uh, changes the x-axis. Okay, from left to right. See, this is our animation. Okay, make it a uh, little faster by increasing the speed. Okay. Just uh, hold on. I'm just uh, trim to this part. Fine. So, guys, what I'm doing, I'm just uh, changes the x-axis. I'm just uh, uh, set the animation of x-axis from left to right. Now, as you can see, this is a diamond. Okay, the diamond icon of this keyframe represent a linear keyframe. These two keyframe is called a linear keyframe. Linear keyframe has a constant velocity and equal amount of distance travel from every single frame. So if I'm play, you can see it is travel from every single frame. Now, if you want this animation smooth, then what you can do? You can just select this two frame, right click on it, you can go to keyframe assistant and here you can select easy ease or the shortcut you can use F9. Okay, just instead of uh, doing on this shape, I am duplicate this shape. Okay, first I am naming is linear. Okay, just duplicate this uh, and I am like easy ease fine and just to understand how what is the difference is going on after the changes so I'm just putting this okay I have to select this both frames and then put it down here okay guys so now as you can see this both shape have a linear keyframe now the second shape this Easy is putting now just select these keyframes linear keyframes right click on it keyframe assistant and select easy is or you can also use a keyboard shortcut F9 okay I'm just select this and as you can see the diamond is changed to this keyframe so now just start So at the start and at the end animation is slow as you can see at the start and at the end animation is slow. So both is going on the same destination on a same time but that fluctuation in start and end. Okay so this is a easy ease okay and I am also showing you by copying this control D okay now if you are select these keyframes you can see easy is in easy is out okay 
so I am showing you these both also so guys in the same way we are creating two more shapes okay we are calling is easy is in and the last one is easy is out fine so first we are applying on this keyframe easy is in right click on it keyframe assistant and select easy is in okay as you can see this diamond is changes to this icon and the last one is right click keyframe assistant easy is out okay see the magic okay to start and destination they are the starting point and ending point are same but they have the variation in animation okay as you can see in our example in linear animation they have the constant speed okay in the easy is they are start slowly okay then take a speed and they are end slowly same have easy is in okay and easy is out so as you can see the changes in this four keyframes linear keyframes easy is keyframes easy is in keyframe and easy is out keyframes so now we are jump to the graph editor so first we are seeing linear keyframes and we are just selecting graph editor okay so i'm just increasing little bit so you can see clearly so guys there are two types of graph editor value graph editor and a speed graph editor but by default after effect command you to switch to value graph so if you want to switch from value graph to speed graph or speed graph to value graph then you can just right click on it and you can change from here edit value graph and edit speed graph so as you can see these our linear position these two keyframes are our linear keyframe fine i am just see you this this is our easy is so just select this keyframes i am just selecting first this keyframes okay go to graph editor so as you can see there is some mountain type of graph over here why it is showing that easy easy start from this to th uh, starting from 0 pixel to 1500 pixel and 1700 pixel and again and to the 0 pixel so it will start slowly it increasing that speed and that end slowly fine so if i want to change this just click this keyframe and you can just drag it fine so now see the magic okay for just understanding i am just off these three layers and just show you easy in this graph editor so as you can see what happened till here it is start slowly it is take speed in these frames and then slow fine so it will slow and and fast like this you can also manipulate graph like this you can do everything i'm just uh, zoom out see now just play see zoop okay so this kind of very fabulous animation you can do using the graph so guys using this graph editor you can improve your animation in after effect so guys thank you so much do a lot of practice change everything whatever you see just change the value and see what happened in the graph editor as well as in the keyframes okay just select for example if i want to see this easy is in just select this keyframe select the graph editor and as you can see the graph is going from here to here so you have an exact idea how this graph is working same you can also select these frames and you can change the values and i'm just made this easy is okay i'm just enable this first so you have an idea so as you can see our linear and easy is in uh, similar so these kind of many things you can do using the graph editor now if i want to slow at start and i want a fast in end just select this okay see just concentrate on this easy easy 
what I am doing I am just make it faster in starting and slowly in end okay see zoop see and here it is getting slower see so these kind of many things you can do using the graph editor so thank you so much guys see you in the next video thank you so much